Hey, if I can't chew it, I can't swallow it. <laughs> Slogan. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha. I have Raki and Masi here. These are my two girlfriends, and we are doing a mukbang for today's video. And we have what is this? Vieta tacos? Um, Vidya. Media, media. <laughs> so we have a lot of different dishes um, that we actually purchased. So we're gonna go ahead and just dive in. Um, first, we're gonna do cheers. We got the jarritos. Okay. What what flavor did you get? I got tamari oh, tamarindo, but it says your tamarind. Okay. <laughs> I have fruit punch and you? Piña. Pineapple. Okay, let's do a little cheers. Cheers, cheers ladies. To surviving 2020. Yes. Oh, and to celebrating today. Friendsgiving. Woo. Okay, so the first dish is this tostada, and it is with beef, and then it has like cheese, sour cream, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead, and then this is consume, consume or consume, 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 um, where you just dip it in. You know, it's like a sauce. Okay. Do you know what the sauce? I feel like you so consume know more about consume than we so do. So the the, the beef. <laughs> I'm not I'm not Mexican, so I'm not claiming I know everything. But uh, bidia is usually beef or lamb or something like that. And they cook it in a sauce, like a tomato based sauce, I believe. Um, so, yeah, it's on a little, supposed to be on the spicy side. So, bidia tacos, you usually dip the tacos into the consomme. But I don't know how we're gonna dip the tostadas. So, since yeah, it's I don't hard. know the tostadas is gonna be. <laughs> Maybe this was for the tacos, but we'll have it open anyway. Yeah. yeah. We have the spoon, I guess. I need a Natasha to help me. <laughs> Open this. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour my consume over the tostada. Yeah, to be real. It's like, that's just same. All right, you ready? Hold up. And the tostada surprisingly isn't that hard like it normally is. I think because you were driving, it took like 25. Oh, it's not? No, but it's, it's like not soft. soggy. It's, but it's, yeah. it's not as soggy, oh, I don't think. Do you want to tell them the name? Watch you drop it so just in case. Oh, what, the name of what? We already took. The name of where we got the food. Oh, what is it called? Harlem uh, Bidia. Harlem Bidia, yeah. Well, um, it's a new spot, right? It's Yeah, so typically when I get Bidia, I go to Queens for the spot that's really popular, but that's we decided right, to yeah. try this. So let's so see. All right, first bite. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up? Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What do you think? It's good. I need a napkin. <laughs> It's good. Oh, it's good. First bite. I'm picky with beef. Are you? Is this beef? Yeah. Or is this pork? Or beef. Um, I, I tend to. Be, I'm picky with meat in general. And so far, it's okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like it. I mean, it's not super crunchy, but it still has some crunch to it. Yeah, like you said, because I had to pick it up in Harlem, so that was like a 25 minute ride. I have to say though, for it to have come from Harlem to the Bronx, and we went to the store, this is pretty crunchy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's true, and the the meat is really tender. It's not hard. Mm -hmm. mm, I do need my hot sauce. Yeah, this is. Um, this I is, mean, this is not spicy, which, like I said, usually it is. But I'm sorry, I know you like green sauce. What is this called? Like, where is it? Yeah, so what yeah. is this called? You got the rest. Radish. I've never had radish. What? In my tacos. What? What? <laughs> yes, you have. No, I haven't. Or I, at least I take it out. I don't like it. Mm, maybe you don't like it. it? Please. I actually like radish. What? It's pretty. Oh, nice. this is a guac. This is a guac one. Huh? This is like a guac thing. That's all they gave us, <laughs> guys. That's all they gave us is um for three people. <laughs> and I'm not like a huge spice person, but like, I mean I need. But something. we needed more. But I think I need something. Natasha has. Why well, have you want to go get some? Um, I will get it. I, I don't really like hot sauce, so I feel like I can't have a taco. Without hot sauce. I mean, to be honest, I can't have any food without hot sauce. <laughs> I'll, I put hot sauce on everything. What's but that Beyonce song that is like hot mm -hmm. sauce in your purse? Look, my Um, I don't know that song, but I <laughs> I heard it. But I don't know. I wouldn't mind having hot sauce in my purse. Um, so I definitely cannot have a talk. I can't imagine a taco without hot sauce. I wonder if it's bad for you though. Is hot sauce bad for you? Because people, my aunts are always like, you're going to get hemorrhoids or something. And oh my God, I haven't gotten anything. But I'm just saying, is that true? Because it, I have it breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Well, if you know what hot sauce does for you, comment below. Let us know if it gives you hemorrhoids or what it does. <laughs> we need to know. Are you not, you're not going to get the, the, I am, but I was so hungry. I wonder if it gets like, I didn't have breakfast just to eat all of this food. Same. I'm so excited. 
I ate it so quick. Look at my plate. Well, I'm a slow eater. Let me see. Oh, no. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put my hair up because... That's how you know it gets real. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to look too hard. It's hard to eat. It's going to work. It doesn't help that <laughs> my uh, sleeves are like... Oh, yeah. You should roll up your sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> because that's how you really know you're putting in the work. <laughs> it's like... Ah. Okay. Now I can really, you know, enjoy. So which hot sauces do you have here? Oh, but this one. It's okay because... <laughs> Wait, it's literally almost done. Oh. That's I'm okay. Done. But I already, you know, this is a classic. Um, This is what, the Cholula, right? Mm -hmm. There's Goya hot sauce. But this one, I know, is really, really, like, hot. And have you tried it? I tried it here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I literally, every time, she cooked something for me, and I was like, I need this hot sauce. Like hot sauce? Yeah, he mm. loves hot sauce. I don't really care for it. I'm, I'm good with alcohol. No, you mm. should see with me when I brought my kids. open the fries. Oh, oh yes. In the meantime, good idea. So we got these fries. What are they called? Media fries. Everything, oh, everything <laughs> media. <laughs> wow, but these are so good. Like, look at this. They well, they look, look like, good because you haven't tried yeah, them they yet. Look, yeah, they look good. They look like they have cheese. Uh, we'll put them in the middle for all of us. It kind of is getting a little crazy in this <laughs> table. There's like not, not enough space. Okay. Mm. I'm going to try them with this fork. Oh, you could we even dip it in your prayer. Oh, we didn't. <laughs> you could dip it in your consomme. Mm -hmm. Consomme. 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 I know, consume. I was making fun of. You guys, I don't know how to say it either. You guys can speak better Spanish than I can. And you both are having difficulties. Well, because I never, I've never had this one. And I've never heard of the word consomme up until really? the first time that I had the tacos with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Girl, that's not a Dominican thing. <laughs> I was surprised that it was a house. I thought it was a food truck. Because the place in Queens that mm -hmm. she was referring to earlier. So she'll give that free, uh, free promo. <laughs> free promo. It's a truck and literally it's probably the best tacos I've ever had. So, I don't know. Raki says she's had better, right? Oh, well, from the Queen ones? Yeah. Uh, I still think my Bronx one is better. So I'll try that. Like you have to try. One. I mean, I said by like a point, but still. Um, so by the way, the fries. Oh, yeah. Mm, they're not like the best of the best. Oh, you know? not? Well, I like my fries crispy, yeah, I realized. Well, yeah. And oh, they I don't traveled. like they traveled, yeah. But you know, with all the toppings, it does taste good, it's different, you know, so it's a good side. Is it as soggy as you thought it would be? No, it it's a little more crispier than I expected. Yeah, it's not as soggy. Um, I just I guess, you know, I like you know what it is? I like my fries right out of the oven or, or like the not the oven, right out of the oil. No, pretty much fresh fresh <laughs> yeah like fresh fries i like fresh fries <laughs> but we should try the other stuff instead of the fries are the sizes i'm hungry you know that um, i mean you could try it try it open no it. we have to try it all together <laughs> you guys um there's only one place that and i wish i knew the name mm -hmm. that i've ordered fries from where they're fresh like and mcdonald's it's mcdonald's <laughs> it's definitely not mcdonald's i've been disappointed lately with mcdonald's fries i'm Ooh. over them I haven't, well, my cousin told me, my little cousin, whose first job is actually working at McDonald's, and she told me that you gotta ask for fresh fries if you want fresh fries. That's I didn't crazy. know that you could ask for that. I, so, I haven't tried that yet, but um, this place, when you order the fries, it came in a certain kind of paper, in a type of paper, in a container that was made out of paper, and it just has it that your fries are crispy. Oh, Because yes. the thing, they get soggy when you close the lid in plastic, yes. and it's... So by the way, Which I'm is why some people, like if you've ever had chicharrones de pollo, they put oh, holes yeah. on top of no, the yeah, lid. No, generally, when they give the food, it's a taco to truck, they, give, like, they make yeah, holes. Yeah, they have to. Um, I just, I'm taking the radish. That's this. fine. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So what is this called? This, this is, These are the red tacos? These are just bidia tacos. Oh, so these, these are bidia tacos. Those are the typical bidia tacos. And I don't know if you guys can see, I don't want none of my meat to fall, but again, it's like beef. And I'm just gonna dip it in my consomme. Well, we're all gonna dip it. Aren't we gonna? No, we're gonna try it. Oh, I have I'm, 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 I'm not done with it. You guys, guys girl? Can I, can, you guys are so fat. I'm a slow eater. I'm a big girl, but I'm a slow eater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a slow eater too, but you haven't tried the fries. I, I mean, I'm not done with my mm -hmm. stuff. The fries are okay, right? The, the food is good. It's not like it's bad, but it's just it's nothing special. Yeah, I know, but it sucks. We're sorry, establishment, if you're watching this, that we. Are taking into consideration that this traveled, so yeah, it's not oh, yeah, same. for sure. That's true. Right, let's okay, see. let's try this one. So, oh, in the consomme. Yeah, yeah. that's it. You yeah, you didn't eat this. Yeah. Type one. One. <laughs> I'm marinating it in there. Two. Two. <laughs> I can't. Three. Here we go. I need salt or hot sauce. <laughs> it's bland, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. 
It's like. Yeah, the taco truck in Queens it's, is definitely it's bomb. So Maybe I they always, use less salt here. I, well, yeah, I mean, I guess that's healthier. <laughs> so I've always wanted to eat media, and when I was in LA, I wanted to go with the girls. Um, I used to nanny, and when I nannied, the younger girls I knew wouldn't like media. Mm. But I was trying to convince them, and they're like, "No, we want regular tacos." And then I just br I brought them to a Tex-Mex place. But I've always known that media tacos are super popular in LA. Mm -hmm. And I never even knew they existed. So I couldn't wait. Like I was so excited that they finally started like coming here. Mm -hmm. And that one, that the place that we're talking about in Queens is called Bidia Atlantia. Mm -hmm. It's um, in it's Jackson, really good. Jackson Heights. Really good. To me, it's one of my favorite tacos. Mm -hmm. I had to try her tacos because she said those are good, but better. I mean, I love it. It's a chicken taco. It's so good. I guess you, you get... prefer chicken over beef. Oh, a hundred percent. I'm never a beef person. How about you? Well, in, in general, now obviously. In general, chicken, but I do like beef. Mm -hmm. You? Uh, normally chicken over like beef or meat, but for this, because yeah. I love tacos, except that I, sometimes I feel like tacos are dry. Oh yeah. Even with all the sauces and stuff, I feel like, and I like I grew up eating tortillas, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so that's part of my culture. So I'm used to it. But do you know how to make tortilla? Yeah. But, but like not this type of tortillas, like my type, which is thicker with masa, yeah. Can you tell me masa like, yeah. um, what are the main it's ingredients? It's like flour, flour, water, <laughs> and salt. Oh, really? Wow. That's it? It's, how does it become hard though? What do you mean hard? In the oven, okay. Oh, you, you bake it? Um, no, like, um, I don't know, what's it called? Oh my god. It's good, It's hard to speak on time. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> what is it called? The... Not a plancha. What the heck? I can't think of the name. Oh! A toaster! A grill, a, a skillet, a skillet, but like, I feel like I'm in a game right now. <laughs> <laughs> like a cultured skillet. Oh, you know what I'm talking about, though, right? Like, if you have you ever seen a game like that? Yeah, that's and a, just, like when you go to the deli and you ask for a bacon, egg, and cheese in that skillet area. Oh, uh, like, like that. You don't like, have one of those in no, your house. No, but no, I'll show you the one we have. We have like a real, like what you use in El Salvador, what you would use to make tortillas. Honestly, yeah. I never thought about making tortilla because I just like might as well just buy it already made from the supermarket, which is what I normally do. I know it doesn't taste the same, but wait, myself, mm -hmm. can you tell us about birria and stuff? Like, what is where it's from? What part? Of, so, oh, like what's? I don't, know if it's, I don't know if it's from Jalisco. What makes it different than a regular taco? I guess. So the consomme, so it being cooked the meat in in like a in a soup, pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, I do like the soup idea of the situation. Right? Um, yeah, I like Can I have more napkins? I think they're over there. Yeah, I think there's literally like three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to look for images, like... Thank you. Look at my napkin. Please look at this. <laughs> why can't I think of the name? I'm like embarrassed that like I grew up. Mm, you see, this is why I don't... Well... Wow. Me, so like this, like, it's like a type of thing. Stay but, here. No, stay here! <laughs> well, what happened with that... If I can't chew it, I won't swallow it. So if it doesn't dissolve in my mouth, I can't swallow you. And that's what happened with that piece of meat. I do. I can't. Wow, you guys eat really. Oh, okay. Raki's on the same page as me, so now we can try the same thing. But look at Masi's plate. Show them your plate. You have literally not. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, Masi Yeah, I eat a little slow. Sorry. I didn't know that. No, I eat slow too. I'm always the last one eating. But the reason I eat so slow is because in college, I took a mindfulness class, and he had us eat a raisin, like. He was like, eat the raisin like it's the first time you're eating this raisin. Yeah, he was like, what does it taste like? What does it feel like? Eat it so, so you slow. Never, you actually like you eat like that in general. So you know. No, so from that before? class, I don't know, but that class for me changed up how I eat. I eat so slow. I eat in the Guys, moment. she eats like she's... So now she savors it. I savor everything. Because why would you eat in a rush? We're so lucky to have all this food. Mm -hmm. Why eat in a rush? Then you don't even enjoy it. No, you know what? To be honest, so. it's true because I eat super fast, but I feel like I still enjoy my food eating at the way that I do <laughs> Okay, well, for me, like, I could make a bite out of the you littlest know, bit. I can make, like, 10 bites out of that. You know what's crazy? I'm gonna, I'm gonna practice that this more so, like, mindfulness right now with this next queso taco. Oh, hey, que, taco. queso taco. No, we still have, um, oh, quesadilla. Well, quesadilla, I think, is just cheese. And then we have our ramen. I actually so, really like this tamarind. Oh, you did? Queso taco yeah. seems a little different than... The, it's just a video taco with queso in it. With exactly, it. yeah. Um, you took the words right out of my mouth, girl. Because you seem like you were struggling. You're like, um. <laughs> I feel like this is like, I don't know. Like, 
Since I didn't choose, my mom cooked a lot with salt, and I hate it. I'm, I'm really sensitive. Mm, it's fine, you're used to it now. No, and I'm always so sensitive, but this, I'm like, wow, I need salt. Like, yeah, right. I mean, I have salt. You want salt? No, it's fine. Okay. That was like, damn. It's not, like I said, it's not bad. No, wait, not my taste buds. Yeah. <laughs> it's bland. It's really bland. Okay, so well, this is the next one. Are you Keep ready? taking the radishes. Oh, I took, I took two. Even the consomme is not really um, it's that tasty. It's supposed to be spicy. Yeah. Like, like this oh. one. We're gonna give our really? final rating at the end of the video, but I already know it. Can I say just it? rest assured, we, well, we just say it at the same time. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, we should say it at the same time. Rest assured, we're still evaluating. Oh, we have the ramen. It doesn't look too good. Oh yeah, we have the ramen. No. Are right, you ready? One, two, three. A little better. <laughs> <laughs> the cheese makes it better, right? Mm -hmm. My youngest niece was like obsessed with ASMR and mukbang. She used to always show it like to us, and I was like, "This is so annoying. Why are you watching? It's disgusting." And then one day I watched it. I don't know why, by myself, like the food looked good, and I was like, "I'm irritated, but I'm enjoying this at the same time." So, question: mm -hmm. AS ASMR what? ASMR and oh ASMR and mukbang mukbang mukbang. The difference one is the sound. Okay, and I'm, one. I'm saying that as if I'm like an expert and know I, like, the pronunciation of everything. I could be totally <laughs> wrong, so you know. Mm -hmm. Comment below if she's incorrect. Yeah. Sorry. ASMR is the noise, and then mukbang is just a lot of food. Mm -hmm. But we gotta listen to the kids. You know, they are the new generation. The yeah, the future because TikTok oh, all kids. Yeah, really. If we listen to your cousin. We would have been on TikTok before everybody, every TikToker became famous. True. We would have known about they would ask Mukbang. Me to do it. They would always ask me, hello, my nieces were so excited when you started the food thing because they wanted to help you. Wait, what was that sex thing that you were saying about the orgasm earlier? So, on TikTok, the two things I was going to tell you about that I learned is, oh, I forgot what it's called. So, one that I know, it's not the sex thing that she's talking about. Um, it's uh, black seed oil. What it, oh, for your hair? No. It's oh. good for your skin, no. but people drink it. So this person, it became popular because this person, excuse me, this person uh, lost like 10 pounds in a week. Come closer. And I don't believe in that shit, but oh, I wow. My tongue is on fire. <laughs> Black seed oil got really popular on TikTok for this woman losing weight 10 pounds in a week. Oh, wow. 10 pounds in a week? Water weight. <laughs> Obviously, oh, that's... Why? Most likely water weight as well as like that's not safe for someone to lose that much weight. But as they were, it got popular, people kept talking about how it's popular in the Middle East and like in the Quran, it's pretty much it cures everything except for death. That's what like it's like a like a verse in there oh, in the wow. Quran. So it's good for inflammation. People who have asthma, I have asthma. Mm. Um, inflammation like arthritis, like a whole bunch of stuff. So I was like, oh, I looked into it and I saw that it, it is popular. It's always been popular, especially for. Middle Eastern cultures, and I got it. People complain about the taste. It's not that Wait, bad. Wait, so you drink it? Mm -hmm. I actually, did I bring it? I was gonna bring Wait, it. Wait, so you, how do you drink it? You drink one tablespoon? What do you do? Like, what's the... So, I'm on TikTok. You know, that's my new Google. Um, <laughs> Yo, that's our new Google. <laughs> <laughs> on TikTok, people like were taking tablespoons, but on the, on the bottle itself, it said a teaspoon, so I oh, take okay. two teaspoons. So this is the black seed oil, 100% pure virgin, cold pressed. You can see oh, it. we're recording. I was like, yeah. <laughs> this oh, is it. Really the lighting here is really bright today. I don't know what's going on. So over here, it says immunity support, super antioxidant, cardiovascular health. Oh, yeah. So also for blood pressure. Uh, oh, and for hair and skin. Um, it's, that's not why I was looking into it. But yeah, I was looking I more for internal... Stuff. But the hair and skin, you would be able to, you have to put it on your hair so and skin people, or you drink people, it? From what I saw, people were drinking it and some people were also putting it on their face, oh. like topical. Um, it says joint comfort and mobility and healthy digestion. Wow. How long, and how long ago did you start this? Two days ago. Oh. <laughs> so we shall wait for confirmation yeah. on whether this works. So in a month or so. Now. I mean, obviously, like, I wouldn't normally be eating this now that I'm taking that. I'm trying to eat on the healthier side. Oh, look at her. She's trying to change her life over here. No. Well, <laughs> this is a quesadilla. So Rocky already took her bites. How is it? I did because y'all were talking to her. <laughs> is it good or I what? need to warm it's up. Bland. Bland. 
Oh, it's but to be honest, I don't love quesadilla because it's just cheese. What? I like this is just cheese. I need something no, else. But I some, need onions. I yeah, need no. No, like, quesadillas can be good, bro. No, some quesadillas are good, but if it's just a this ton is of like cheese. Cold, right? so do you have a microwave? I do have. <laughs> yeah, of course I have a microwave. <laughs> yeah, this needs like some sort of chicken or something. I need onions, peppers, hot sauce. Fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Well, I hope we don't sound ungrateful that way. Okay, so let's. Yeah, I know. It's good, guys. Right. It's not bad. So let me continue the story because we keep going every other way besides the actual story. Okay. So the other thing I saw on TikTok was this girl <laughs> who um, she was talking about having a partner and like her partner has always been able to please her. And in order for women to have an orgasm, she, she said it in a funny way. She was like, organism. Um, I guess <laughs> I don't know if it was for like the 18 and younger. But. um... She said that for women, which is an obvious statement, that it also is a mental thing besides a physical thing mm. for women to have an orgasm. So, she, for her, it hasn't been an issue with her partner. Um, so, she was wondering why. And then she was like, honestly, I've been kind of depressed and anxious lately. So, she felt like that was interfering with her being able to orgasm. Mm. So, I guess she was like looking up stuff. Her and her partner were looking up stuff. And they found this. Damina, Damina T? Damina T? Oh, I don't know. Damiana T? Damiana T. There you go, Damiana. Oh. So I was like, ooh. Damiana. Do the reviews say that? Um, I haven't seen yeah. So this was, I saw it. Saw this Wait, thing. sorry. So she was having this problem. So she ordered this and then what? So yeah, her and her man, I, I mean partner, I don't know who she's with. But I guess they were looking up of like things to help her relax. And this can be smoked or drank as a tea and she tried it and she said that she went the the double digits with her man and pretty quickly what uh, her, her, her. wait but um this this is specifically meant for sexual for um, libido i guess yeah yeah wow mm. wait so now my question is because i know a lot of you guys know it is very hard for women to come you know unless like right because it's just in a course it's not touching the clit, so it does take longer than if you were playing with your clit or, you know, having toys or whatever the case is. So now my question to her would be, did did she take the tea and just with the eggplant come? Or did she have to touch herself or, you know, I mean, like, what was the, uh, we need more, we need more, we don't know. I don't think, you <laughs> really going to wait into it. I think it was just something, we, I guess we can research it ourselves. It just helps with women libido. I think also men. So did you order? Sure. But I think that's an important. I just question. ordered this morning, but I was thinking about it. It's not like I have <laughs> somebody, but I was like, yo, I kind of want it. I wanna. Well, you know what? I'm wondering if you masturbate once you take it, if you'll just go off. <laughs> one finger, one top. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Wow, then we really are gonna be an instant gratification yeah. country, man. I, bet, the, I, I don't. I want you to work for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she she likes like, foreplay. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you want to be able? She said she was able to get in the night throughout the night double. No, no, that's that's beautiful. But I'm saying like with <laughs> she said that's beautiful. <laughs> she didn't realize she said beautiful. Let me show you guys. So I guess the ramen obviously is underneath all the beef, but it looks like this. So this is gonna be our last entree of the night before we give our final review, right? Mm -hmm. Can I get I mine? Huh? I want to give my number already. No, don't give you. Because we have to wait for the ramen. I didn't even finish this. I don't think I'm going to finish. This is the... Uh, yeah, the quesadilla sucks. You want it? No. Oh. Tell us about... You Um, said you foster dogs. So tell us about the last dog that you fostered. Oh. Follow her page, Bella Ooh. Rescues, because she has fostered... How many dogs now? I really need to recount, but it's over 15. No, I, oh. I will get to 100. <laughs> In you're two years. saving <laughs> dogs' life. Like, you're literally putting them in their permanent home. That's amazing. Oh, you Thank you. Easily. The last dog that I fostered, well, I did like a one day foster because um, a friend contacted me about a dog that a friend had contacted her that was being abused or neglected. Neglected. That was being neglected, was living in Connecticut, kept in this room, would only get water when it would be fed, and would only get walked once a day, a day at that. So that was the last dog that I fostered, but it was just for one day because he had a foster lined up. But the dog that I fostered before that was Doggo. Um, he was just the most adorable. We actually don't know his history. Um, he was given to he was given to Animal Care Center of New York City, um, East One Tenth, so like Harlem, and he 
we don't know anything about his history because he came in as a stray. Aww. I say air quotes because that means that somebody probably just left him somewhere. Like, it's very hard for, like, a dog to be five years old growing up in New York City because animal control would have been on it. Mm -hmm. So, but sure. whenever a dog comes into the shelter and it's not the owner surrendering, um, they will label it as a stray. So, you anyway. I didn't know that was an option. What? To surrender your dog? Yeah. No. Yeah, I didn't know that either. I know. I was like, oh, that makes sense. I, I wish people, if, I feel like if people knew, they, they, would, yeah. they wouldn't mistreat their dogs or just give up on right, treating like, their dogs. Like, that is information that should be um, told to everybody. That is very yeah, true. Yeah, because that's basically like when you want to give your child up for adoption. Like, yeah. people know that that's an option. Wait, see? Okay, this is, might be awkward. I don't know that. Can you give up your child, like, later on? Like, say they're four years old, can you just give Yeah, up? I think so. But they probably ask you questions, which is probably why people have left babies at the fire that's station. That's what I'm saying. Like, I know people just like leave kids, but like, can you right, like, legally? Legally, legally, I don't want my kids. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if you can. Yeah, I think can you, you can. I think you can give them up for adoption at if any point in time. Knows. Yeah, wow. if anybody knows. Yeah, comment below. <laughs> Wow. You can teach us because clearly we don't know. But talk about there's things that you don't know that you don't know. There's things you know you don't know. It's true. There's things that you don't oh, even yes. know that you don't know. Ignorance. That is crazy because I just never yeah. thought about that. But, well, I've thought about kid adoption, obviously, but in the sense of, I don't know, legally, are you allowed to give up your 10-year-old kid if you don't want them? I think you Or do you can. get in trouble? I don't know. She put her consomme inside. Yeah, because it was dry. That was Wow, a good idea. Look One, at you, little chef. Two, three. I'm about chef, but being a... Mm. I like this the best. Also, oh, wow. <laughs> Talk but about everybody likes why, different things. I don't like it just because, and it's not their fault, but because it's been like an hour since it's been made, the noodles are uh, soggy. It's not like firm at all. Like, it doesn't have any anyways. texture to it. It just like. Oh, I, guess, I actually like my ramen noodles soggy. When I put them, I know you shouldn't be putting it in the microwave, but I put it in the microwave for like four <laughs> minutes. Oh, the cup? Yeah. yeah. Cause I don't like it hard. But honestly, this goes to show like that not everyone's everybody has different tastes. Because well, like, that's why when you read a bad review or something, go check it out yourself. Because everybody has a different taste. I literally was like, this is the best one, and you were like, this is gross. So no, I didn't say it's gross. Oh, but not gross, but it's, it's, okay. But also the reason why is because I like Raquel said before when I eat or like learn about any other culture, I like to know like what's their norm. Mm. Obviously, people eat it so differently within their own country. But when you get ramen, t uh, typically. People like to get it with like f like firmer noodles. I see um, what you're saying now. So yeah, yeah, and yeah. So it was a little dry, but th that's why it was dry because the noodles soaked up all the juice, all the water, the broth, and now it's like super. But clearly, you guys like it because <laughs> Natasha. <laughs> it just. <laughs> I mean, I don't really. It's, it's good. You have cilantro again. I'm gonna dip a fry in this. Okay, so right Doggo was a pit bull mix, so so cute. Um, he he was just a pleasure to. To foster, like I mean, all my foster babies, they all they have all been so special and unique. Um, with Doggo, he was so sweet. He literally loved attention. Like if Jason and I would hug, he would literally just be like this, wanna like hug. between and like go cry and like want to get up to like hug and be with us. And it's like okay, bro, like give us some space. Um, so that was really cute. And then he would always like turn around like a little cockroach, like to get pet. He oh, loves yeah, belly him. rubs. He mm. was so so cute, and he got adopted. He all over. Sorry. He got adopted by somebody who never owned a dog before. Like she oh, the had, girl, right? Yeah, she had family dogs, but she had never owned one personally. Um, and she lives with roommates, and she's kept me up to date with how he's doing. And she said that her and her roommates are always fighting with like who Doggo loves the most because Aww. he is such a love bug. I'm finished. I'm full. Yeah, I'm full too. I'm done. Do you think anybody voted for Kanye during the presidency? We already we know, know that. We know they did. <laughs> There was a huge um, debate on Instagram whether or not Kim Kardashian voted for her. Are you serious? And I'm like, you know, I feel like she probably did because she's going to support him no matter what. He probably was like... Yeah, he's probably... <laughs> he was like... And you know, he put a tweet saying that um, his friends. it was the first time in his life that he voted and he was so happy that he was going to vote for himself. And I was like, that is a Kanye saying. Like, he's his best supporter. You know, like... I was the like, first time that he voted... Honestly, that shows in our community. We need to realize the impact that we can make, and like the fact that you had never voted before. No, that, that you think that was a lie? I'm sorry. No, no it, it probably isn't. But because of his selfishness, the way he speaks to me, you should vote even when you don't like somebody because you one way or another, country. someone's gonna become an elected official. I am ready to say our rating for 
I'm gonna say Wait, hold on, we gotta say it all together to see if we all go. Out okay. of five? Oh, no, out of ten. ten. One okay. being the lowest, ten obviously being the highest. Okay, one, two, three. Two. Three. Oh. <laughs> You needed to say it! I was gonna say it, but I was so shocked. Yeah, what, what is I was gonna be nice and be like a four. Damn. We ate all of it. Okay, yeah, we ate all of it because we were hungry, but it but has the no meat taste. wasn't bad. It well, wasn't bad. It was just the could have been soggy undercooked. I honestly, one video that I've had has been spicy. Uh, I'm not a big person when it comes to salt, but this needed salt. <laughs> <laughs> it needed, yeah. It needed salt. Um, so, yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed our first mukbang. Comment below, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on your bell notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah! <laughs>